Science 5. Quarter 3. Module 4. Week 4. Lesson 4. How to light a bulb. After going through this module, you are expected to a. Identify the essential parts of a simple electric circuit and discuss their functions. b. Trace the flow of electricity to make the bulb light up, and c. Appreciate the importance of electricity in our daily lives. Direction a. Indicate whether the statement is true or false. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. An electric circuit has four basic parts, power source, light bulb, wires, and switch. 2. An open circuit makes a bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. 3. In a closed circuit, electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path. 4. Copper wire is the most widely used material for connecting electrical devices. 5. Current electricity is electricity in motion. Direction, be using the descriptions below as your guide, arrange the following jumbled letters to form the correct the word. 1. This is a thin wire inside the bulb that heats up when electric current flows through them. Two. It is the source of power in a circuit. 3. It opens and closes the circuit. 4. It is a material that allows electricity to flow. 5. It is an object that uses electricity. Direction. Identify whether the following materials are transparent, translucent, or opaque. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Lesson 4. How to light a bulb. How does electricity flow? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity, and second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Direction. Read the short poem below and answer the following questions. A little light bulb. The sun is nearly coming down again. A little bulb is appearing and shining now. Oh! How wonderful and amazing it can be! A little and simple bulb can light the whole. Battery, switch, wires are important to it. The filaments are necessary, too. To light and warm our bodies, too. Oh! How great and awesome the little bulb! The sun is coming and shining again. A little bulb is hiding and signing off. Oh! Don't turn it off, I ask and plea. You bring life to a newborn baby, too. This little bulb works also through electricity. Same as television, electric fan and refrigerator. Electricity plays an important role in our little bulb. Aside from battery the bulb light up through electricity. Have you noticed our surroundings at night? Oh! You can merely see that everyone uses electricity. That's why we also need electricity to light a bulb. Oh! Lightening a bulb I always ask and plea. Guided Questions 1. What are the things necessary to light a bulb? 2. What are the roles of a little bulb according to poem? 3. Why do we need electricity in our daily lives? 4. What is the importance of electricity to our appliances at home? 5. As a grade 5 pupil, how can you properly use a bulb? Discussion of activity. 
Current electricity is electricity that flows or in motion. It is the kind of electricity that we are using at home. Current electricity flows along a circuit. Electrons flow from the power source to the electrical device and back to the power source. Most circuits have at least four things in common, a power source, battery, a conductor, material that allow electricity to flow like a copper wire, an electrical device, an object that uses electricity, and a switch, opens and closes the circuit. Simple Electric Circuit In a simple circuit consisting of a small light bulb, a battery, and wires, the electric current flows from the negative terminal of the battery, through the wire, through the bulb, through the other piece of connecting wire, through the switch, and back to the positive terminal of the battery. When the electric current flows through the filament, thin wire inside the bulb, the filament heats up and the bulb lights up. Conductors are materials that do not hold tight to their electrons and allow electrons to flow easily through them. Insulators are materials that hold their electrons tight and do not let them flow easily. Setup A Set up B. The pictures above show an electrical circuit in different setups. An electrical circuit has four parts the source, the light bulb, the wires, and the switch. In setup A, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery, while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. Such circuit is called a closed circuit. Setup B is an open circuit. In this setup, the electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. Guided Activity 1 Direction, identify the necessary materials to make a bulb light up. Choose from the box below. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Black wire. Battery. Bulb. Red wire. Rubber. Wood. Switch. Plastic. Door. Guided Activity 2 Direction, match the description in column A with the given concept in column B. Write the letter of the correct answers on a separate sheet of paper. Column A 1. It connects the light bulb and the battery. 2. It is a type of circuit where electricity cannot flow. 3. It is a type of circuit where electricity flows freely. 4. It is a source of energy. 5. It produces light. Column B. A open circuit. B bulb. C wires. D closed circuit. E battery. Guided activity 3. Direction, draw a simple circuit that shows how a bulb can be lit up. Identify its parts and discuss their functions. Do it on a separate sheet of paper. Rubric Criteria With complete parts Points 5 Criteria Properly labeled parts with correct functions Points 10 Criteria Properly assembled, connected Points 5 Criteria Creativity Points 5 Total points 25 Direction, 
Complete the statements below by choosing the correct answers from the given choices in the box. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Current electricity. Home. Electrical device. Circuit. Power source. Electrons. I learned that, 1, blank is electricity that flows or in motion. It is the kind of electricity that we are using at, 2, blank. Current electricity flows along a, 3, blank. Electrons flow from the, 4, blank to the, 5, blank and back to the power source. Direction, observe the pictures below. Write yes if the bulb will light up and no if it will not. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Direction, choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 1. It is the type of electricity that flows or in motion. A. Current electricity. B. Static electricity. C. Solar electricity. D. Wind electricity. 2. These materials do not hold tight to their electrons and allow electrons to flow easily through them. A. Conductors. B. Fuse. C. Insulators. D. Storage. 3. These materials hold their electrons tight and do not let them flow easily. A. Conductors. B. Fuse. C. Insulators. D. Neutrons. 4. Nichrome wire is an example of blank. A. Conductor. B. Electron. C. Insulator. D. Neutron. 5. The plastic that surrounds a copper wire is an example of blank. A. Conductor. B. Electron. C. Insulator. D. Neutron. 6. A. And blank makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. It also allows electricity to flow through them. A. Closed circuit. B. Open circuit. C. Range circuit. D. Wide circuit. 7. A. And blank doesn't make the bulb light up because there is a gap or no complete path from end of the circuit to the other end. A. Closed circuit. B. Open circuit. C. Range circuit. D. Wide circuit. 8. It is the most widely used material for connecting electrical devices. A. Copper wire. B. Plastic. C. Rubber band. D. Styro cup. 9. A circuit is a complete path that allows free flow of electricity. This statement is blank. A. True. B. False. C. Neither. D. Uncertain. 10. Most circuits have at least four things in common, power source, conductor, electrical device, and object that use the electricity. This statement is underscore. A true. B false. C neither. D uncertain.